Hey guys, I am Joe Deckelmeyer. We are here at San Diego Comic-Con 2023. I'm with Ed Boon from Mortal Kombat. How are you doing, Ed? Very good. We're really excited. Uh, so much that we want to announce and talk about and let people know. Um, and Comic-Con, I can't think of a better place to do it. Absolutely. Comic-Con is the place known for reveals. Uh, first question I have for you is, talk to me about the legacy of Mortal Kombat and what Mortal Kombat 1 brings to the franchise. Well, Mortal Kombat, is, as many people know, uh, has been around for over 30 years now, right? And so there's a, a very long legacy of characters. I, I think there's we have over 100 characters. And Mortal Kombat 1, you know, because we have such an, a, a long story, we're really doing the ultimate reset. This game literally starts with the Big Bang. And so it is a retelling of a, a brand new Mortal Kombat story, but with characters that you're that you know in completely different situations, right? So the, Liu Kang now is the god and Raiden is kind of oh. like the common man. Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers now as opposed to you know adversaries trying to kill each other. Right. And uh, so that kind of mix up of what you know and um, telling you new origin stories is to me is one of the most exciting parts of Mortal Kombat 1. Can you talk to me about the development process of that and how you guys came to some of those ideas by making uh, like them brothers or or even reversing uh, Liu Kang and, and Raiden's roles a little bit? Yeah, our, our goal with developing the story was basically giving a new origin story for every character. And and we really wanted that familiarity of, I know these characters, but a brand new story. And that was kind of like the, the, the driving goal that we had in, in kind of telling this story. That is incredible. Now, can you talk to me about the new campaign story mode that you guys have in this game? Absolutely. Um, like I said, it, it starts with the Big Bang, this whole this whole uh, story. And it is basically, it's starting from the, 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 the most basic roots of there is no such thing as Mortal Kombat. It is, it is, you know, some of these characters, you see how they became, how they are. So, you know, characters like uh, Melina and Baraka, who we, we just kind of recently uh, announced, the reason why they have their faces and their teeth and is, is completely different now. It's a disease now. So, oh. so a lot of these things is um, the story literally, the story mode literally um, uh, presents it brand new to the player. And, you know, they're participating in the fights that happen. So longtime Mortal Kombat fans are going to be uh, com coming to discover this story for the first time again, like these re these reimagined characters for the first time. Absolutely. Imagine if, if Mortal Kombat didn't exist and this was the very first Mortal Kombat ever made. You know, that's that's how much this is the, the beginning of a new story. So, and again, if you haven't played, you know, the games recently uh this is a great place to jump onboard yourself on that's game. fantastic that's what i love to hear now talk to me a little bit about the cameo fighters cameo fighters is the brand new feature that we have as far as gameplay is concerned okay. right and so every when you there there are two character select screens so imagine yourself picking your main fighter like you've done for 30 years but then there's another one which is like an assist fighter and they make these cameo appearances and they help you with their abilities so you're combining your main fighter with a specific cameo fighter and it's the combination of those two that makes up your arsenal of moves that you can do and that mix up so it's not just you picking a character me picking a character it's you picking your team and me picking my team and that kind of mix up is the, the the whole new dynamic that comes into the fighting it's a little bit of strategy involved a with a lot of strategy with who yeah. you're gonna pick now yeah, yeah. i gotta ask you ed who's your go-to mortal kombat character a scorpion. Has, scorpion. Has, it has been since the very first one. It's, really? I don't think it'll ever change. Really? Yeah. I'm, I think I'm a Sub-Zero guy, yeah. so yeah. that's incredible. Now, um, what can you talk to me uh, about the characters in this as far as the stories go? Like, which one are, which one it has the most reimagining? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, th I think Raiden is a big one, you know, because he's, he's, for the longest time, has been known as, like, you know, the Thunder God, yeah. for the protector of Earthrealm. He's just a common common man now, right? And and you know, and when when the the story starts, you see him in the field, literally working in the fields. And um, so th that's a big change. Uh, uh, Baraka and Melina are big change too. Again, it's a disease that right. they have, as opposed to that's their race. So that's a big part of it. Um, uh, Shang Tsung has a completely different uh, new story. You know, for the most part, all the characters have brand new origins, but those are probably some of the, the biggest departures we've made. What's your favorite fatality? 
Um, that's a good question. I would have to go back to one of the, 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 the Mortal Kombat 1 ones. Um, so I would say maybe the Sub-Zero, uh, that spine rip yes. that he does. That was, yeah, that was, yeah. As soon as uh, I said fatality, that's the first thing exactly. that came to my head. Yeah. It's iconic. Um, talk to me. Mortal Kombat's been around for, you said, over, over 30 years at this point. What separates Mortal Kombat from other fighting games? And, how, and why has it stood the test of time? Because we're still talking about it today, 30 years later, and it's still just as relevant as it was then. Yeah, it's... it's, uh, it's I'm amazed at that as well. Um, I, I, if I would, if I were to guess, I think that what separates Mortal Kombat is we're not afraid to to really change things up, right? Like like we don't just kind of repeat the same game with a prettier skin on it. Exactly. We'll, we'll we'll add new features. We'll throw out features. We'll reboot the story, and and it's always a new experience. And I do feel that we have a very strong connection with our characters. It's almost like. Um, like uh, like like DC or Marvel, right? Yeah. Where you have this whole kind of palette of characters. We have over a hundred characters in Mortal Kombat, and I think that relationship that the players have with these iconic characters is a big part of what separates MK. That's fantastic. Can you talk to me or speak to the evolution of Mortal Kombat? Have we seen it grow throughout the years as well? And 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 why you guys decided to bring Mortal Kombat One as a, almost a new starting point or jump on point for fans again? Sure. Uh, over the years, Mortal Kombat, the, the story-wise, the stakes have been higher. Uh, the the um, the roster of characters has gotten bigger and bigger. You know, like in the first Mortal Kombat, it was seven yeah. fighters that you had seven to iconic from. fighters. Yeah, let's let's be honest. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, and then the the roster just kept growing to the point where, you know, the stakes are getting higher and higher. It's Shang Tsung. It's Shao Kahn. Yes. It's you know, like we we keep introducing a new kind of villain that is even p more powerful than, than the previous one. And with, with Kronika in Mortal Kombat 11, she was like the keeper of time, and, and we didn't feel like there was anywhere higher to go. Sure. So it was like, let's just nuke the entire story, start from, from scratch again. And that was kind of like the impetus of Mortal Kombat 1 and starting all over again. So I, I know that you're a Scorpion guy, but when, what's the one character where somebody else would pick and you knew you were gonna have a tough time playing against that character? In this game, um, I think Sub Zero actually is is the the great counter to to Scorpion as far as gameplay is concerned. So really? I would pick Sub Zero. Yeah, that's incredible. Now uh, we are here at San Diego Comic Con. Obviously, San Diego Comic Con is known for its big reveals, uh, and I know that you guys have a panel. What are some of the big reveals we're getting from Mortal Kombat One this time around in San Diego Comic Con 2023? Yeah, we, we showed a whole bunch of new stuff with regards to the upcoming Mortal Kombat One. Uh, the characters that we revealed were um, Lee May, Tanya, and, and Baraka. Uh, some of these characters you haven't seen in a long time, you know, over 10 years, and, and, and they're making their, their return into the Mortal Kombat universe, which is really exciting. We also, whenever we launch a game, we continue to support it for a long period of time and uh, with, with a bunch of characters. And, and we announced, you know, Mortal Kombat characters. We announced... Quan Chi, Ermac, and Takeda will be joining the roster after we launch, and um, Omni Man, Ho Homelander, and wait, Peacemaker are, wait, wait. are the. Uh, so let's say this one more time. What? Omni Man, Homelander, and Peacemaker are the um, guest characters that are going to be kind of joining the Mortal Kombat universe. You're. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. They're they're. Uh, what's exciting about them to me is is. They have their kind of roots in kind of superhero comic book kind of category, but they've all done some pretty bad stuff that kind of qualifies them. Oh to be my in god, they fit! I didn't. They fit so perfectly in this universe. Wait, Homelander and Omni Man. You're gonna be able to find out which Who one went in a fight exactly. Homelander. Or the, Omni -Man. Some of those yeah. fantasy like fights that you think of with these fantasy characters, and you think who would win in a fight? We actually get to figure that out now. Yeah, that's 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 um, a super exciting uh, part of what's going to be coming even after the game is uh, launching in September. And Peacemaker. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's incredible. Have you have you had a chance to play as either one of any of these characters yet? Yeah, well, we, you know, we haven't. Um, like I said, it's we're we're releasing those characters after the game launches, right? Because we're going to continue working sure. on the game. You know, we're obviously planning things out. We have great ideas for fatalities and, and and special moves and all that. So so we're a lot of a lot of this is we're in the kind of. Fantasy, idea, you know, like idea stage of it all. And hold on. So, 
we get to see a, a, a Homelander fatality. What is that even? I can't even imagine what that's going to look like. You know, uh, what's what's fun about uh, both or well, all three of them is we're really drawing from what they've done in their movies and, and TV <sighs> shows and stuff like that. So that's that's a lot of the um, the inspiration that that we're getting. So so when you see these fatalities and things, you're you you're, you're going to know. I've seen that in this movie or a, a version of it. So it's it's great nods to their original uh, presentation. That is incredible. Now, if fans pre-order now, are, is there any downloadable character they'd be able to get ahead of the game? Yes, um, Shang Tsung will will be the uh, the, the the pre-order character, and um, you know he plays you know completely different than than you would expect him to. And uh, but he has again the returning characters we really want them to have some of their signature stuff but again feel different so it's you know it's it feels like a new game that's incredible i can't wait for this game yeah, yeah. this is going to be amazing now are there any characters I, look i know the mortal kombat you guys put a lot of care into this are there any characters that you really wanted to include but you're like you know what let's let's hold off maybe for further on down the line they always are you know the the reality of the situation is when we release a game we have you know 20 some characters that are on the immediate roster. So if you imagine Mortal Kombat has, you know, 90, 100 characters um, throughout the years, you're always going to have about those 70 or 80 that just don't make the cut. Sure. And, um, but but that's what makes it that much more special when they do return. Um, uh, Lee Mei was a, gr a great example. Um, you know, finally seeing her return is a, is, is a lot of fun. Now, in your opinion, Who's the most underrated Mortal Kombat character that gets a spotlight in Mortal Kombat 1 a little bit? Um, I don't know if, if he's the most, but, um, you know, Stryker has always been this character that um, uh, has, has, has sometimes been underestimated, and, and he's actually one of the cameo characters. He's got some really cool uh, cameo moves that he, you know, again, any player can select him and, and use those moves in their, in their arsenal of uh, attacks. So we have... Cameo, where you can build your own team and strategize a little bit. We got a new story mode. We This is a great jumping on point for Mortal Kombat fans. Omni-Man, yeah. Peacemaker, and Homelander? Yeah. How does it get any better than that? It doesn't. It, it just basically doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't even know. I can't ask you any more questions because that's just amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Ed, and dropping that knowledge on us. That is amazing. I can't wait for this game. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for having us. We can't wait for uh, players to get their hands on it. Can I get my hands on it now? Uh, we'll talk later. All right. Thank you so much, Ed. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks, man.